This guy's a stud, and we're going to talk to him in just a second. We're bringing you some major motivation on this Monday. His name is Jamie Tregoskis, and he's going viral. Obviously, easy to see why the dude is a stud on the pitch. He was diagnosed with a rare form of bone cancer as a young teenager and ultimately lost his leg to the disease. Now, while in the hospital, Jamie met another patient who had also lost a leg. That person introduced him to amputee football, or as we call it here stateside, soccer. Uh, Jamie gave it a go the moment he was fit enough and the rest they say is history. He now plays for Great Britain and the Manchester City amputee football team and he's inspiring thousands all across the globe and even right here in America in the process. Just scroll through his Facebook or Instagram page. You're going to find comments just like this. You are my idol, man. You are a legend or like this one. You're a hero. An inspiration to me. Greetings from Trinidad and Tobago. With a story like that, you know we had to talk to Jamie ourselves. He's joining us now live all the way from England this morning. Uh, Jamie, first and foremost, thanks for joining us here on Morning Dose from across the pond. 22 years old. Now, you lost your left leg when you were 13 years old, so it's been about a nine year process. But by all accounts on the internet, they're saying you are the best amputee soccer player in the world. How does that sit with you just hearing that? Um, well, I've always wanted to be a professional footballer since I was seven years old. Um, so even though I've lost my leg, I feel like I've achieved my dream. Um, it's an unbelievable feeling, you know, being named as one as, if not the best amateur football in the world. It's like a dream come true. Jamie, can you take us through that initial diagnosis? And then it was kind of funny. You said, hey, I just thought it was cool because I got some time off of school. So, I mean, you kept such a level headedness about you when you were just a teenager. And then now from that moment to the process that has begun, you becoming a professional um, soccer player. So just how have you been able to keep that positive mindset uh, throughout this entire process? Um, the main worry for me losing my leg was uh, not being able to kick the ball around again. Um, so. I was very determined to to play football and get back in the swing of things. And I started playing football every day with my friends, um, having that positive attitude. And it just took off from there. At that point, Jamie, when everyone's seeing you and your Instagram followers are at about 20,000, I'm seeing you're playing in front of um, stadiums and crowds of 30,000 people. So obviously, uh, you're an inspiration. What are some of the things when you meet your fans and maybe people in similar situations um, that you're in, what are some of the things that they're telling you as far as you becoming just an inspiration and really the voice of sort of this movement? Um, I get messages all the time on my social media. I post videos, um, I get lots of great feedback. Um, people tell me to post more. It's something I enjoy doing, posting videos. Um, I want to get the message out there, no matter what um, life throws in front of you. Um, you can always overcome it with a positive attitude and you can do whatever you want to do in Jamie, life. Jamie, what is the best part about you being in the position that you're in as the amputee football player, like I said, one of the best, if not the best one um, in the world, and of course playing in probably the soccer capital of the world right there um, in Man U. Um, just um, inspiring people. Um, I love inspiring people, um, and I love showing people what I can do, and um, yeah. Jamie Trigraskis joining us this morning uh, from across the pond. I want to ask you this question, Jamie, and sorry if it's a little out of context, but is there any maybe possibility in the future where you get fitted with, let's say, like a prosthetic and you can get on the pitch um, with your other counterparts as well? Because I'm seeing the videos and you're literally running circles um, around some of um, the people that you're competing with on a daily basis. Is, is that something in the future that you would want to see have happen or something that could be in the works? Um, I, I don't really wear the leg because my amputees, um, my amputation's a bit high, so it's a bit awkward for me to run on it. But I'm a lot quicker and I enjoy playing football on my crutches, and I just feel like I'm just as good on my crutches as people with two legs. <laughs> Jamie Churaskis, you actually are. Go check out his videos and go check him out um, on his Instagram page. Jamie, thanks so much for joining us this morning on Morning Dose uh, from across the pond. All you have to do is check out his Facebook page or his Instagram. Type in his first name, Jamie, last name Churaskis, T-R-E-G-A-S-K-I-S-S. -S -S. This dude is an absolute stud running circles around uh, the competition across the pond. Chris, I'm going to kick it over to you now. I